He goes by the name of Element. Put your hands together for Element. Peace, y'all. What's going on? Nice. Uh, that's what it is. What it is. Um, I don't know where he went. My man, Brother Ali, just came out with a book. So if you guys go see him and show some support, you know what I mean? It, it, was hard. it took him a while to get it going, but um, I'm proud of him. All right. Um, I did a show October 24th called Love Jones Live, and it was incredible. Miss Busybody is one of the features. We had well over 100 people there. Uh, it was erotic, and we had one person that came there that threw the whole energy off, and that was Nicole Bell, Sean Bell's wife. So she walked in the door, and they were spitting erotic poetry. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> but it was funny. Anyway. All right. This poem is dedicated to uh, uh, a beautiful young lady. My wife, and um, I dedicate this to you. Yeah. You can do that shit again. <laughs> no, actually, this is actually true. I wrote, I wrote, I read, I, I, I said this poem in Ohio, and um, I brought it on stage, and we were married one year later. So, it's called, um, I Got a Love Job. I want to inherit your smile like asthma. Cat short breath from broken silhouettes that dance in my direction. She makes me high. Rolling our relationship up in fontu leaf. I've inhaled our past so I could blow it our future. I want to write. I want to sketch timeless portraits of your comedic smile under my eyelids. So quite logic when I close my eyes and see your spirit shine through your teeth. I want us to give birth to intuition. Conversation stretching our brain muscles into matrix position. She impregnates my pen. You see, she is my eye tune. She keeps me in tune through conversation. I want to download 5,000 future memories so I can add yesterday's verbiage to my playlist. I say this. Quite simply, I just want to know you. I want to sip samples of your thoughts so that I become intoxicated by the blood level content in your conversation. Bask in tomorrow's dreams erected from yesterday's future. I much rather digest your dialect from the mere thought of me speaking in tongues. All I want to do is close my mouth and take your vernacular tapestry. Wordplays plays birds in rerun format. Mic check, one, two, medulla orgasms, drip, seven minute conversations in a 360 degree rotation. That's what become a piece of paper. And you, you be the fire. So when I come close, I could be engulfed in your presence. Become keys in your computer so I could be in sync with your touch. I want to track seven broken hearts from eight prior relations when equated mathematically. You can still see I'm the one. Then I'm going to steal your demo. <laughs> Then go platinum so that you can sue me so we can be in the same room standing in front of your partner. I want to know you. She is the blues in my left eye, trying to become the funk in my right. Queens, is that all right? All right. Queens, is that all right? All right. That we already started casting for the sequel. And the plot will me politically caressing your near for however long it may Lorenz take. I mean, she drapes jazz like Coltrane. It has me dizzy when I think of the miles that I had to walk just to sit and talk and stroke the organ in between your ears. Intoxicated from those Billy Holiday eyes, I can't help but to admire her Duke elegance. As her touch and fit Cheryl lyrics and the Thelonious instrumental became in tune with the moon, that's when become that vessel that travels through your mind so I can know your thoughts before you give birth to them in your speech. I want to kiss your cerebrum, make love to your cerebellum, penetrate your medulla so we can catch a political erection from pink lips down to the white papers midsection. Thus giving birth to poetry. See you today. Thank you. I met a stranger last night. I was spitting game tight. He threw bait. I was lucky to bite. Realized his eyes caught me before his hello. He's not my average dude. His light skin reflected the moon. Your five eleven height perfect to spoon your cream into my coffee. I met this stranger last night. And he caressed me just right. I even let him look in my pocketbook that mama said was off limits to anyone I didn't know. You nip clutched and sucked on my children feeders while I envisioned carrying your feeders. Sitting on cloud nine, you mentally fucked me. He wasn't the same. He didn't come with the same old speech on how his childhood was breached, which caused him to cheat on every woman he meets. He was different. I said different. Far from the hustling and pimping, those days were so over. I got mine at the right time when he would find his soul so God can make him accessible to me. Now he's a well-known entity with a bond so deep you would think his blood was intertwined in my genetic makeup. Queen of his sport in times when love wasn't spoken but felt. King of heat with not a notch under his belt but classified as a 180 degree split times two. So you call me your earth. Us together is considered a rebirth. We're brand new. I found love in my stranger. 
And so can you. Don't do this shit if you married. <laughs> Turn that camera off, nigga. <laughs> She asked me to write. She asked me to write her love poem that will make her mentally masturbate 17 shades brighter than the sun. I will overstand it became your mental erection. You asked me to write. You asked me to write you a love poem that will choreograph a liquid libation from erect pins injected into your rhyme book. Time took. Hey. Took time pulsating break beats from Jim Bay drums. We beat it two oceans into one. She began to ask me to write. I, <laughs> I want to park my pink clips and Michelangelo slow stroke your clitoris until you can drum with your thoughts of yesterday's and days of love. But being that we haven't had sex physically, I want to use my cortical ability to describe how I apply pleasurable pleasure to your breast, lightly submerging my head south of your chest. You see, if I had sex in 365 days, so in 366, we're gonna make love 369 different ways, and I can't wait for me and you to get to the slow grind in face, beats in place. Ooh. My face. Oh, my Damn! <laughs> Where we can dance the infinite grooves of e body. Where we can dance the infinite grooves of e body. Do with Jill Scott. Where we can take long walks from your house to my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Spending Neo so classic, your clitoris gave my face slow strokes of passion, the drips of elastic, the cream on these things, trust in the center of the mattress. Sexual gymnastics as I flip, stand erect with my Angie Stone. <laughs> Deep, agly in the direction of your brown sugar, ready to submerge until the cops come knocking, your legs max well 180 degrees in the air. As my literary clitoris massaging his tongue started to jag all right while gasping scriptures etched in your navel. The essence of your floating trees came down your bronze thighs with like poetry in motion. And all she could utter is, say yes. Yes, yes. The built up tension of a lust in me. <laughs> the built up tension of a lust in Neo soul submission created a love so sweet, she came through her nipples. <laughs> Drowning in your mahogany pool, I would cut rain, and our cup began to run us over, and thus we created a soul child. But wait, as I wiped the cash rules, everything around me off my face, I inspected your deck because this old dirty bastard was ready to fuck again, thrust again. It's your fuck, it's a fuck, it's you the fuck of a sex appeal, and it had me like, whoa. Ready to black robbing it. P. Diddy making it bad sex. I'm letting TV is filming it. The tourist B. I. G. R. position. Big Pop is filming it. She had me too pop the fuck up singing Hail Marys. One of the actors was contracting, contracting, cause a reaction is my elephant man hung. Wow. <laughs> then we began to sizzle the sheets. Body moving to a slow wide they reggae beat. She caught an orgasm at the end to the following week. Wow.